Chris. And Miss Maddie. And today we're going to be making erupting moon rocks. What you're going to need for this experiment is some type of bowl, doesn't matter what size it is, a little bit of water, some baking soda that we sent home with you, and some vinegar to pour over it when you get your rocks rolled out. So first you're going to put your baking soda and your water in the bowl, like Miss Maddie's doing here. You're just going to take your hands and mix it together real good until it makes a dough. And what that's going to be is that's going to act as your moon rocks. And so you can make one big one or you can make a few little ones in your bowl. And once you get those mixed together into rocks, into roll them into balls, then you're going to dump your vinegar on top of that, pour a little vinegar on top, and it's going to erupt, like kind of like the volcano project. It's going to be erupting moon rocks. So Miss Maddie's going to go ahead and get the baking soda and water mixed together here. Alright guys, Miss Maddie's got it mixed together. This is what it should look like. If it's not that thick, then add a little more baking soda to your mixture. And if it's not thin enough to do that, add a little more water to it. Um, you can also add some food coloring or acrylic paint if you have that at home, or glitter. They're supposed to be black is what the experiment says, but we only have red, so we're not gonna add it. Miss Maddie thinks it looks pretty cool when it's white. So we're just gonna leave them white. But just roll a few balls and to represent the rocks and leave them in your bowl. It's like Miss Maddie's doing. And you can do multiple or you can just do one big one if you want. And then once you get all of the balls rolled out, take your vinegar and just pour it over the rocks. Very lightly. And that represents erupting moon rocks. So we hope you guys enjoyed this experiment and try it at home. We'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.